Hi and welcome to a tutorial about Flexbox, how to create rows and columns. You've probably seen this kind of web page where you see a design and when you change the size of the browser, like here, the design will simply adapt and change the way it looks so that it fits the kind of screen that we have. But how do we create an effect like that? How can we do it? Now, uh, first of all, I want to change to my trusted old friend here called JS Fiddle, because here you can see at least some of it. So um, I'll make it a little bit larger here so that you can see it. Uh, first of all, we need a little bit of markup with the content that we want to display as rows and columns. So let's just click create a div and call it row. Now um, here we have a row and inside the row we'd like to have some columns. So let's just add, add I mean an article, inside that an h2 headline and below that we want a p tag. Here it is, so I write lorem tree. We have a headline here and lorem 22, some 22 words here. Now we have at least the first article and of course this one would only be uh, one, but we need some columns. So um, in order to get them, we can do this. Just add them. Now, uh, to be honest, here we have the design that we need when we are on smaller devices. So uh, you can simply run it here and then we can see in the orange area over here that uh, they are stacking and that's actually what we want them to do. But when we are on a tablet, we'd like to have a slightly different design. Then probably we would like something where we have like uh, more columns like the last row we have here. So how do we create something like that? Well, um, first we need to add a breakpoint. And on w Tree School, there is a very good pa uh, page called How to Typical Device Breakpoints. And here, just for the uh, demonstration, I'll take a small device. It could be a tablet, something like that or a larger phone. If we take that one here, we have a breakpoint and then since we started with the mobile device first, um, we can go in and say, well, now the row should change a little bit. So let's add a rule that will go for um, the row that we have here. And here we would like our articles to behave as columns. So here you can write display, flex, and actually that's all you need in order to get the columns. Here you see them. Now we have them. And on smaller devices you can see they simply pop back. So uh, with just uh, four or five lines of code you can add a behavior like this. And of course, sometimes it would be nice to have a gap between them. Let's just say it's 2.3 EMs. And let's see if it, what that, that does. Here you see it. Now we have a little bit of space between our columns here. And um, that's actually all the code you need in order to get some columns. But I talked about rows, and this is of course just one row. What if we wanted to add another row here? Then we could copy all the text you see here and add another row. And if we do that, you'll see now we have another row and it will behave in the same way. Uh, it is responsive and only when we get to larger devices, it will display in another fashion. So um, that's actually one way of doing it, but um, 
could we add an other article here so we have a row of three and then one of four and could we even have a row up here with just one article in it so that we get a design like more or less like the one that I demonstrated we'll have to close this div here it is closed now okay now you see that we have a 100% uh, row on the top because there's only one article inside and it will always display like that so no matter what this one, one will be on top and you can also see that the other rows they kind of flex when they have to and when the device, uh, device I mean gets small enough it will simply go in and, uh, and stack on top of each other and without further ado then we if you add a few images and backgrounds and fonts and so on you can have a flexbox responsive design and that's actually how you do it so I'll just say thank you for watching this video if you like it please click like below or you can subscribe to my channel and then you'll never miss another edition of my tutorials bye bye